Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Jolo Pineda, your middle class sneakerhead and welcome back to another episode of the vlog. In today's video, we're gonna be checking on these uh, super used Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the blue tint colorway that I made a video of and I just wanna show you the after effect uh, of using soul sauce on your Yeezys. So um, stay tuned. So much for checking on this video today guys and I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Kung bago ulito, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and if matagal ka na rito tol, thank you very much for sticking with me. So I made a video about whitening the outsoles of these Easy Boost. This is way back like 9 months ago. So actually that was the last time na sinolsos ko yung sneaker na to. And of course, bago ko sila linisin ulit ngayon, I just would want to show you what they actually look like after months and months and months of wearing. If you follow me on Instagram, you do know that I do wear my sneakers on a daily basis sa office kasi pwede naman mag, mag, uh, mag sneakers. So I wear them at least twice a month. It would depend kung ano ang trip kong suotin. For these specific sneakers, lagi ko silang nasusuot. Apparently, sa lahat ng yeezys ko ito, parang para sa akin ang pinaka beaters ko na. Uh, nung ginawa ko yung video, actually, gumawa, twice ko siyang ginawa na video. One was an English um, Tagalog version and then one is an English version. And uh, actually, up until this day, marami pa rin nagko-comment sa mga videos na yun. What is soul sauce and uh, how is it made? Uh, ano yung measurements? Ano ba yung... And so on and so forth. So marami pa rin mga questions. And of course, so, yung mga kayong sagutin natin yun in today's video as well. So, syempre, before we get into the sneakers, sagutin ko lang muna kung ano yung uh, ginagamit ko to whiten my Yeezys. Alright, so I do have three different uh, items in whitening my Yeezys. All of them are called Sol Sauce, okay? So, let's start off with the very basic one. This one is the Finesse Summit Way Oxy. So, it's a uh, parang oxidizer sa buhok. And meron na rin nagtatanong kung saan nakakabili ito. Basically, ako nabili ko nito sa mga nagbebenta ng supply ng parlor needs or salon needs. Yung mga nagtitinda ng mga dye, nagtitinda ng mga uh, parang hair color, mga shampoo, mga care, mga so on so forth. So, doon ko lang dito nabili and I bought this for about 100 plus uh, pesos lang. 120 na yata, ganito na siya kalaki. Alright, so ito yung parang pinaka basic ingredient. And actually, if you think about it, Hindi mo na kailan ng ibang gamit or hindi mo na kailan lagyan ng anything else aside from this solution right here. This one is a 12% uh, volume 40 as you can see over there. Susunod naman nilagay nilagay ko sa isang maliit na bottle at nilagay ko pa siya ng uh, parang uh, parang oxidizer yung powder. So yun, although wala na yung powder kasi naubos ko na and natapo ko na nilagyan so hindi ko siya mapakita sa inyo pero link ko na lang sa baba or dito sa taas yung video ko sa nilagay ko or Kung baga, pa paano ko ginawa ang aking soul sauce. So, ito naman, uh, hindi, naman siya, it's, hindi naman sa it's my own formulation. Pinagsama ko lang at nilagay ko sa maliit na bottle. And then, para at least pag naglalagay ako ng soul sauce, parang, alam mo yun, na lalagay ko sa mga spots na kailangan ko. Siyempre, meron din tayong Angelus Soul Bright. So, ito rin yan, Angelus Soul Bright. And of course, ito ginagamit ko to sa mga Jordans ko. However, ang problem ko dahil nasira yung, ta yung takip niya. <laughs> Medyo nasira na rin yata yung formula or yung solution sa loob. So, anyways, okay na naman kasi this one, dito lang, uh, okay na to. Ito lang kailangan mo to whiten your Yeezys or any translucent outsoles. And of course, the process is still the same. Lalagay mo sila. Although, di ko na sila papakita sa video to kasi this one is only an update video. Uh, papakita ko lang sa inyo ano yung uh, pros and cons actually ng doing soul sauce. So over the past 9 months, itong sneaker na to, lagi ko itong ginagamit. Kasi ito lang natira sa mga Yeezys ko before when I sold uh, most of my Yeezys. So after nun, hindi ko na sila talaga si soul sauce. 9 months, this is 9 months of wearing the sneaker. Uh, although, syempre minsan mag-iingat ka, minsan hindi. Minsan hindi mo na, mapap di mo na may iwasan na mapapadaan ka sa medyo ma maduming daan or something. It is what it is. Sneakers are meant to be used. They're beat. So, ito siya. Now, the pros of cleaning your sneakers or doing soul sauce on your sneakers is mapapaputi mo siya. Um, and it just takes repetitive sessions. Ulit-ulitin mo na siya hanggang makuha mo yung desired na 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 parang na color or yung parang pagkakaputi ng gusto mo. Pero, syempre, overall, itong sneaker to makikita mo dito na dito sa boost 
uh, exposed boost. Hindi na may iwas niyan talagang dahil naka-expose yung boost, yung pinang-apok mo sa sahig. So ayan, sobrang dumi na niya ngayon. Sobrang nag-yellow na rin siya ulit over time. Uh, there was also this one time, nung ginawa ko yung first video, which is a, a link on the top of the screen now, hindi ko na siya ginamit after yan. Kumbaga parang pinipreserve ko. And then after a while, pagkabukas ko ng box, siguro mga 2 to 3 weeks, gagamitin ko na siya ulit. Nagkita ko na meron na siyang yellowing spots ulit, or nag-yellow na siya ulit. Pero hindi yung sobra. Kumbaga parang meron ng part sa sneaker na nag-yellow na ulit. Pero that's weird kasi hindi ko pa naman siya ginagamit. Doon ko naisip na to do the second video which is the English version. From there, that's 9 months ago, hindi ko na siya sinososos ulit. So, and definitely, it did yellow a lot. If, she, if you can see that, grabe oh. Talagang nag-yellow na siya. Oh, and by the way, ayun yung isa. So, makikita mo, yellow na sila compared sa gilid. Meron din actually nagtanong um, paano naman daw sa gilid? Paano naman daw ito yung gusto mong paputiin? Simple lang, e dito mo apply yung sole sauce. Tapos, um, kapag ibibilad mo siya facing, para nakagano siya. Tapos dito yung sole sauce, dito yung uh, cling wrap, tapos yung araw dapat yung natutulog niya. It's something na kailangan mo rin pag-ingatan kasi syempre, too much heat will remove or will kill the glue on your sneakers. Kapag uh, sinososos ko, I make sure na one hour lang and then tanggal na. Linis, tignan ko kung medyo okay na. Pag hindi pa, papahingayin ko ng konti and then bababad ko siya ulit sa araw with the sole sauce. Now, one reason kung bakit gusto ko rin ng gum bottoms is because this one is a uh, sesame colorway. Ngayon, ang, it's gum bottoms. So, actually, kapag linis po ito, ang dali niyang malinis. And at the same time, wala kang dapat paputiin. One reason din ba't gusto, gusto ko yung gum bottoms kasi it's low maintenance. However, yung uppers niya medyo dumihin lang din. This one, I haven't tried doing sole sauce kasi it doesn't need to do sole sauce. Uh, the more kasi na nag-brownish yung ano niya, the more na nag, alam mo, nag sumasabay lang yung colorway niya. Another cons then of doing sole sauce is when you do it on a on a particular Yeezy, for example, this uh, blue tint. Yes, mapapaputi niya, pero hindi niya kayang ibalik yung pagkaka-bluish tint. If you grab a pair of a brand new blue tint, makikita mo talagang bluish talaga yung tint, even on the uh, on the ribcage uh, midsole. So, ito naman nung sinososos ko pumuti. Yes, pero hindi niya nakuha yung kulay ng ano, hindi niya nakuha or na-revive yung kulay ng blue tint mismo. However, it is what it is, ganun talaga. And then may nagtanong pa sa akin if I also clean the uppers of my sneaker. It would depend. Meron ako sneakers na kini-clean ko pati uppers, pero uh, for this particular Yeezy, hindi ko pa siya na nilinis na uppers yung talagang todong linis. Siguro I'd probably do a, a Yeezy cleaning video. Um, dito sa blue tint sa to para try natin silang i-restore and habang may araw pa isa soul sauce ko din sila siguro coming up na lang yan in the next couple of days overall soul sauce yes does work on on Yeezys on mga, mga midsoles ng Air Force One ng blah 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 and so on so forth so marami akong nagawang cleaning videos and how to using the soul sauce ayun nga lang pros is yes mapapaputi niya uh, ma ma marirestore niya yung yung dating puti ng sneaker mo. Kumbaga kasi, this is oxidation right here. Kumbaga parang kumagat ka ng mansanas, tapos naka-expose lang yung ano niya, naka-expose lang yung laman niya, and then iwanan mo after a while mag-yellow yan. That is called the oxidation process. Hindi mo mabibigilan yun. It's something inevitable. So, at least meron tayong mga ganito klase mga hacks para ma-restore natin ang ating sneaker. Uh, and then of course, the cons, again, ma mas mabilis siyang mag-yellow than the usual. I guess it's just my opinion. So it, it depends sa'yo if that's uh, bad news for you or good news for you. In my opinion, that's good news kasi makakabili naman tayo nito at magagawa naman natin yung process whenever we can. So yeah, that pretty much sums up the update video ng, uh, ano, ng Yeezy na to. Actually, isa yun sa mga pinakamalaki ko kasing views dito sa YouTube. Uh, nung, yung pinakauna ko which is yung creams na nag I don't know ilang views na yun 50k yata or something um, and then iba't ibang nationalities pa yung mga nagtatanong nagko-comment sa video actually nababash nga ako kasi Tagalog da, or ibang language dapat daw English and so on so ayun basta guys ingat-ingat lang when using the soul sauce and then of course use gloves kung kakayanan, kung meron man. Ako, medyo sanay na kasi akong gumamit, kaya okay naman na, hindi na ako gumagamit ng gloves. And then, of course, keep your sneakers clean. I guess that pretty much sums up the video for today. Again, uh, maraming maraming salamat for checking on this video today, guys. Again, kung bago ka dito, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if matagal ka na rito at all, thank you so much for sticking with me. So, yun lang for the meantime. Maraming maraming salamat, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.